A new Yu-Gi-Oh! format begins. Now, duelists everywhere must scramble to make drastic last-minute changes to their decks that they love. finished. I can never decide which mat I want to do my Cyber Dragon deck profiles on. Do I do it on the Cyber Warfare meta mats, the Yugi No No meta mats, or do I do it on the Cyber Dragon mats, the Cyber Dragon Revolution structure deck mat? I can I can never decide. So I think that we're gonna do this deck profile on both. I think we're gonna start on this mat, and then when I do the combos, I think I'm gonna do it on the Cyber Warfare mats. But yeah, um, I barely changed anything with this deck. Um, I am excited to show you guys the combos with this deck. This deck does literally everything that. Um, I made it do last time, except slightly better, of course, but with the, uh, you know, few card changes, the two card changes that have been made. <laughs> yeah, there's literally only two changes. I've changed out one card, which is a three of in the side deck, and then I swapped a Mandrake for a Terraforming, because Light Stage's ability to be able to brick out your opponent's back row is too good. It is way too useful, so I decided to, uh, you know, uh, add that terraforming in. Even though, yes, it does suck sometimes to draw the terraforming and the light stage, but it never happens, especially if you have luck like mine, of course, you know, uh, have Jesus powers and whatnot. But um, it's also great to have, um, you know, a target for Dorindle, um, a spell, you know, uh, up for Dorindle because you do end your um, optimal boards with uh, Dorindle and um, all kinds of other things. So um, I'm going to show you those combos. I'm going to show you the two card combo uh, with, that makes me play this deck. <laughs> you know, the whole reason why. I play this deck is uh, this really cool uh, two card combo. I call, I call it the uh, no no combo uh, because I don't know what else to call it. The Karakiri no no combo. I don't I don't know what to call it. Cyber Cyber Karakiri no no combo liciousness draw five thousand cards summon five thousand monsters. Yeah, let's just call it new, the no-no combo. It's way more simple. Let's get right into this deck profile, though, guys. Like I said, there's only two changes since last time. Um, I think that this deck is about perfect as far as um, um, Cyber Dragons go, uh, making it go as fast as it can, making it as optimal as possible, make it go as plus as possible, uh, make it as fast as possible, making it go first or second. I think this is about as good as it gets. But let's start laying down cards and talking about them. Three Cyber Dragon, um, because I play Machine Duplication, therefore you need three Cyber Dragon. If you're not playing Machine Duplication, you actually only need one Cyber Dragon. You only need one vanilla Cyber Dragon, seriously. Um, the Machine Duplication, though, is a really good backup play in case your, um, you know, your needle fiber gets stopped, it gets ashed or something like that, as I explained in the uh, last deck profile. Um, it's really great. Um, ultimately, you, you want um, a core, a machine dupe, and either a tuning or a um, satellite synchron in your hand. Um, and th th those, th those three cards, like if you have those three cards in your hand, you're set because if the, your two, car two card combo gets stopped, it gets hard, you know, if your fiber gets hard stopped by once again ash or gamma or something like that, uh, you still have the machine duplication 
information uh, to be able to activate on core, get out two Cyber Dragons, progress your plays that way. So um, that is why uh, Machine Dupe is in the deck. Um, three Hertz, um, this is what you search in order to uh, get have a discard outlet, search Cyber Dragon, get back Cyber Dragon core, um, you know, from your graveyard. Cyber Dragon core is the core of the deck. I make this pun, I make this joke every single Cyber Dragon deck profile, and it's because it is. It's like, it's the core of the deck. It is Cyber Dragon core. It is probably what's inside right here. I don't know, you know, on, on Nova, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, Cyber Dragon core is like the best normal summon in the game. <laughs> like, like, in my opinion, it's like, it's like up there with Alistair and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I really like Cyber Dragon core. Um, two, uh, Galaxy Soldier. Um, this is... Uh, the other uh, Cyber Dragon card, the, the honorary Cyber Dragon card, you search this off of Repair Plant, uh, you dis discard uh, Hertz, for example, you know, go off, search another Galaxy Soldier, search Cyber Dragon off of Hertz. Uh, good stuff. Uh, Galaxy Soldier is, yeah, it's, it's one of the best cards in the deck, like, it, it, and it has been uh, since it came out. It's been good with Cyber Dragons ever since this card came out in uh, World Superstars. It's a fantastic card. Um, three, just a Kiru, the Star Destroy Destroying Kaiju, because... Um, you're playing Cyber Dragons, you give them big machine, but you don't care because you make your Chimera tech, you know, so you have big machine out of big machine. It, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. And if you draw two of this, that's fine too, because you just, give, you know, give them one, uh, spec the other, you know, keep going. Jizikiru is the best possible outer for this deck for that reason, because it's a machine and because you're playing Cyber Dragons and have, you know, the Chimera tech play. Um, but Jizukiru uh, really comes in handy against uh, problem cards like Winda, specifically should all Winda. Um, things to say you can't special summon, you want to get rid of, um, if you can, you know, if you, if you are able to, and you know, you can't really, uh, you know, jizz on a Vanity's Fiend, for example, but you can get rid of a Winda, uh, you can get rid of a uh, Makaba, you can get rid of, uh, you know, other problem monsters. Um, Jizukiru is, is great, you know, once again, this is searchable with um, Cyber Repair Plant, just like Galaxy Soldier, so if you don't draw it, you can search it, um, and you get your search card with Core, which is at three and then there's a search card for core which is at three the cyber dragon engine i i've always been in love with this deck it's so it's so consistent so good um this deck is a fantastic fantastic going second deck because it's an inherently a going second deck you know cyber dragon your opponent has to control more monsters than you um so yeah uh, it's always been a going second deck but um making it go first with the um strategies and uh, combos that i've put in here um gives the deck um, an edge so you can actually like blind go first with cyber dragon set up a board um and then if they do break your board you have so much advantage because you drew so much off of library and you're still going to win. I mean, that's pretty much the strategy of the stack. Or you go second and you're fine going second because it's Cyber Dragons and you're maining three just a Kiru and stuff. Uh, but uh, moving on, three uh, Cyber Emergency, one Cyber Repair Plant, and one Rev System. That's all you need. That's all you need. Every now and then I'll want a second repair plant just because repair plant is so dang good. Uh, but um, you, you don't need it. And then for the uh, last of the Cyber Dragon cards, I guess you could say, um, there's 22 cards here, the, the machine duplication. Because uh, once again, um, if, you're, if your two card combo does get stopped, machine dupe in hand to be able to uh, you know finish your board out, still end with infinity and stuff. Very, very, very good. Um, and uh, on, also, if you uh, don't get your two card combo or don't get like a good combo, uh, um, you know, machine duplication lets you do regular Cyber Dragon combos like they've always been able to do through Nova and stuff. So, um, never, never bad, never bad. Uh, machine dupe, uh, well, I shouldn't say never bad. Machine dupe is bad if you, uh, you know, draw, like, let's just say you draw two machine dupe and all three Cyber Dragons, then it's terrible. Or if you draw a couple machine dupe and none of the little guys, you know, and none of the search cards for the little guys, yeah, then it, then, it, then it's terrible, but just don't have bad luck. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Just don't have bad luck. Um, you have to play three of this, though, because you want to, you want to, want to open one of it you want one of it with one of the little guys and you want um you know one of your tuners and that's that's how you want to open really um specifically satellite synchron because uh, the two card combo in this deck all it is is core and satellite synchron um, the, and you can have, you know, emergency and satellite synchron or emergency and tuning it, it, it doesn't matter um, as long as you open this or this plus this or this you have a kick-ass combo that lets you draw a million times, and I will show you that, of course, in this deck profile. I am getting these all over the place. I'm doing this deck profile this way, of course, to break down the different uh, segments of the deck. So, you know, you start off with the Cyber Dragon cards, of course, you know, your Cyber Dragon core, then, you know, the um, spell cards that get, you know, your Cyber Dragon cards, uh, you understand, plus, you know, the outer. I include just a key ruin with Cyber Dragon cards because you make Chimera Tech with it and stuff. Um, it's an honorary Cyber Dragon card, kind of like a Galaxy 
Galaxy Soldier or whatever. They're, they're, they're Cyber Dragon cards, you know what I mean? Because you get them off for a pair plane. So yeah, Cyber Dragon cards, and then the uh, tun tuning engine, the Synchron engine here, uh, whatever you want to call it, the uh, three tuning plus, uh, you know, your tuners. And then um, I play um, two Mandrake, and then uh, the change to the deck that I was talking about at the beginning of the video, um, Light Stage and uh, Terraforming. So uh, this was a third Mandrake is what this was. And um, through test hands and stuff, I was like, you know what? Uh, if one of these mandrakes was a terraforming and I could get light stage, that is a plus. Plus, I get to uh, you know brick out an opponent's back row. That is way too advantageous. And uh, just by making that uh, that one change, the deck is way more consistent. Uh, plus, uh, having a spell up for Durindal, which you usually end on. It just it just made sense. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Uh, similarly, I don't know why. Uh, I'll, I'll get to it in the side deck, but like uh, I swapped one kaiju for another in the side deck, and I don't know why I didn't have it this way, you know, in the beginning. Uh, but uh, moving on, the uh, Karakuri tuners, you don't want to draw these. You can draw these, though, and it's not that bad because of, you know, quick draw synchron and stuff, and of course, you know, three tuning to get the quick draw synchron. Um, but uh, yeah, you don't want to draw them. It's okay if you draw one, you know, just don't draw both. Um, Despot at one is great to draw, actually. I love hands where I draw this because it's, of its attack boost and stuff, plus, uh, you know, pitch it off a of quick draw synchron. And and it's you know just fine uh, plus or there'll be really weird hands where i'll like you know normal summon it for its attack boost or whatever um like i was saying but uh yeah that's about a one pretty cool to draw this one eh, kind of shitty to draw um but uh so these like your garnets but they're not like garnets because they're better than garnets because you can you know get them into the graveyard with quick draw you, you get what i'm saying um one for one and monster reborn and that wraps up the deck uh, that's all 40 cards uh one for one uh, gets you know these uh, level ones gets your death spot uh, also gets um, hurts and that comes in handy. Another reason why I play one for one is specifically because um, it makes machine duplication more consistent because um, you can uh, you know draw machine dupe and let's just say no none of the little guys you know none of these little guys and, and no spells and you know get it off a one for one and then of course monster reborn because it's monster reborn it's like still the best spell card in the game right <laughs> you know you know i mean like one of them it's not you know it's not the best but you know historically i mean this has been around since legend of blue eyes guys this is my lob uh monster reborn too and uh yeah i mean this this card's still kicking ass um this card uh, especially kicks ass in this deck because it uh triggers satellite synchron um you also trigger satellite synchron off of uh, cyber dragon nova and off of uh mandrake so uh yeah uh, that's uh yeah all four cards um let's keep rolling here let's get over to this extra deck starting with what's most important in my opinion uh needle fiber uh because it summons a tuner from your deck and uh, keeps your combo going um you, then you use the needle fiber uh, plus another machine to make mecha phantom beast aurora dawn um aurora dawn spams tokens you know and then uh ideally you have despot in your graveyard summon the despot from your graveyard you know uh keep on trucking aurora dawn's um effect to be able to pop cards is also very advantageous you know pop cards Card, pop a card on your opponent's side of the field. Um, you know, put, destroy one of your tokens. Uh, ideally, it, it just it just works. Um, I like uh, Mecha Phantom Beast a lot. Um, yeah, it's it's another. This is you could argue which one's more important because sometimes you know you won't, you'll make Aurora Dawn before you make um, Needle Fiber just with three machines. Um, you know, one of them being Despot, and it, 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 it gets complicated. You know, with these hands in this deck, but um, and so it's kind of hard to pick which is the most important. But I would say Needle Fiber because without Needle Fiber, you wouldn't get the full uh, combo, uh, which is the most. Uh, you know, uh, gains a lot. It's the most advantageous combo I could find in Cyber Dragons. Gains the most advantage. Plays off a Hyper Librarian. And then Almirage. Uh, Almirage is just as important as these two because um, it's part of the two-card combo as well. Uh, for the two-card combo, you have to have um, Almirage because you have to send Core to the graveyard. Um, so what you do is you normal summon Core. You search uh, the Rev System, send Core to the graveyard for Almirage. And then, um, you know, now you have a, a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. Uh, summon it um, right back with Rev System that you just searched. That'll trigger the Satellite Synchron in your hand and you go off from there. Um, yeah, you need a Al Mirage. It, it really does come in handy. It's protection effect, um, you know, also, uh, you know, does come in handy. But uh, you, it usually isn't on the board that long. You usually, you know, get, get rid of it and link up uh, by then. But um, Cleave Fort Genius, um, this one, I would say, is the least important of the Link Monsters, but it also can be very important because you can machine dupe underneath this and then get a search for, um, you know, Quick Draw Synchron, uh, Galaxy Soldier, you know, level 5 or higher machine. Uh, Cleave Fort Genius's effect, uh, going second to be able to turn off a card um, and being unaffected itself is uh, fantastic uh, it's it just adds um, a little extra edge to cyber dragons which are already a very good going second deck it makes them go second even harder um, plus once again it is a consistency card because you know machine dupe underneath it and get a search uh, cleave for genius it has to stay in the deck i've tried to replace it a couple times it's 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 too good you have to keep it there um 
to the Xyz monsters, Cyber Dragon Nova, fa my favorite Xyz monster of all time, <laughs> because you know it's it, it, it's your OTK card. I mean, you really do just OTK with this thing. There's so many games where like I don't even make an Infinity. Infinity stays in the extra deck because I OTK'd with Nova. <laughs> um, yeah, this Nova Nova's the shit. Um, and, you know, being able to uh, special summon Cyber Dragon from your graveyard and make another you know rank five. It's it's irreplaceable. Cyber Dragon Nova is like it's the best freaking card in the deck. I mean, in my opinion, you know, you I mean, you'd be like, well, Cyber Dragon is the best because that's what started it all. Well, of course, of course, of course. But like, Cyber Dragon Nova is um, a powerful Xyz monster. It's a gateway to infinity. Um, it's it's a combo machine. It's an OTK machine. It's it's just fantastic. Moving on, um, we have Artifact Dorindle. Um, Dorindle is what you end your board on. Um, it gives you a negate of a normal spell or trap card, um, and so that's pretty good. But um, it's also your consistency card. Um, you notice there's no Skull Dread in here. That's all the Link monsters I play. Um, so to be able to unbrick your hands if you uh, let's just say draw too many of the tuners or whatever. Um, ideally, you want to be able to uh, take two level fives, like a quick draw, or you know, or two Galaxy Soul or whatever, what have you. Maybe you're going second, special summon a Cyber Dragon in your hand, I don't know. Uh, but you make a Durindle to Unbreak. It's, um... It, it, it serves two functions that way. And then uh, Pleiades is also still in this deck. It's the last Xyz monster as well. Um, Pleiades is too damn good. Um, and it's too damn good against Shadals and all kinds of stuff. This is good against set monsters. You can bounce your own light stage back to hand and get another search with it. Um, you can um, uh, jizz on your opponent. You can like kaiju your opponent and then bounce the jizz back to your hand and then do it all over again. Um, Pleiades with machine duplication is too valuable. It is way too valuable. I don't know why this was ever cut out of the deck. Do not ever cut Pleiades out of your Cyber Dragon decks. Every time I do, every time I do to try to like get an edge in to have another card, I freaking regret it. There's so many duels where I just want Pleiades, even though it's two lights. I wish it was just two level fives, of course, but that's where Durindle comes in. Uh, Durindle is, is your negate or your disruption that's that's generic enough, plus uh, the functions as your consistency card, like I was saying. So um, yeah, th these slots get really, really tight, and, and I'm telling you, this extra deck is perfect. It's perfect for this deck. Uh, moving on to the Synchros, um, TG Hyper Librarian, because it's a level 5, you go into Durindle with it. I wish it was a light so you can go into uh, to Pleiades, that would be cool, uh, but it's not a light, so uh, we go into Durindle. Uh, you draw a million cards off of it first, though. <laughs> uh, Marcher, because you can actually play Marcher in this deck and you can, uh, you know, combo really hard with it, of course. Uh, you, uh, you know, uh, get the, uh, it's part of the two card combo. You summon a Satellite Synchron back, use this machine, and uh, Needle Fiber, go into Aurora Dawn, spam the tokens, and just go and go and go and go. I'll show you that in the combos, of course. Um, then the Kira Kira package the um, Buri, the burrito and the Buri boo <laughs> um, this one changes battle positions of, of uh, you know of opponents monsters this one uh, draws when you when its battle position is changed and this one when its uh, position is changed um, lets you uh, banish a card on your opponent's side of the field. And they all summon the tuner from your main deck. So what you do is you make li Librarian, and then you summon this, this summons the tuner, uh, you draw a card off the Librarian, then you sync for this guy, draw another card off the Librarian, this summons a tuner, uh, you change the change its battle position, draw a card, then you sync again for this, and draw again. You draw like so many cards. Um, and I'll, you know, once again, I'll show you guys that you know when we get to the combos. But um, yeah, your full your your disruption um, and how you end your board is uh, Durindle, Infinity, and the Baribu. So you get a banish. Um, a full disruption by being able to shuffle their hand back or uh, you know spell trap negate or you know uh, negate anything and you just end with um, you know that's not very many you guys are gonna be like that's not very many negates no it's not uh, but you end with so much advantage you have like a ton of cards in your hand so if they do break your board you're still gonna win and that's the idea the, the idea unless they OTK you which they can't because you have a lot of stuff on your board um, so that's that's the whole idea behind it and then um, yeah the final two card uh, final two cards in the extra deck are uh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Um, you could play one. You could get away with playing one, uh, but uh, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, you guys could be like, well, well, where's Mega Fleet? Mega Fleet's actually in the side deck. Um, there's there's too many decks running around that this is just useless against, like Shadals. I, I've talked about Shadals in this video. I talked about it in the last video. It's a prime example of a deck that's running around rampantly, um, and it's a really good uh, Windows. <laughs> Windows a bad bitch. And uh, this card is useless against that deck because um, they fusion summon they have 
they don't end with something in their extra monster zone unless it's like you know cross sheep or something like that so um this is yeah it's just bad there's a lot of uh, decks running around out there that just don't use their extra monster zone so you know a uh, drytron for example i don't know just you you, you get it you, like uh, there's a lot of decks that this is just useless against so it's uh, best decided uh, not to mention uh, not as many people are going to be playing dragon link anymore because lp got hit so um yeah this card is not as uh, good as it used to be um, this card, however, though, since you're maining three Jizakiru, is fantastic. Um, you know, like I was starting to say, you can get away with playing one of this, but um, I wouldn't. Uh, I keep wanting a second one. Um, if you side Jizakiru, um, instead of maining it, let's just say for a different format, you can get away with siding, you know, or putting one of this in the extra deck. But if you're maining three Jizakiru, you have to have both of it. Like, it really comes in handy. Um, and you cry and lose if you don't have the second one. Um, this is perfect. Yeah, three main deck Jizz, uh, uh, two um, Fortress in the extra deck. And uh, that's that's it. That's 15 cards in the extra. Let's move on to the side deck. The side deck, though, is three Interrupted Kaiju Slumber and three Ghidorla. That is the other change from the last deck profile. That's it. All I did was change one Mandrake in the main deck to a Terraforming and then this card slot, which was Gamma Seal, to a Ghidorla. And I, I don't know why. It, it should have been Ghidorla in the last deck profile, too. I just, like, it... I just forgot, I guess, that uh, the the wind statue is running around. Learned my lesson the hard way. Got to have the, the mystery dust kaiju in here. Um, <laughs> so the, yeah, uh, it's way more optimal. The game of seals are optimal, um, you know, usually, you know, in most formats. But since uh, the uh, you know wind statue is running around, um, you know, wind the winds are running around. Um, Got to have the uh, Godarla. Um, get rid of all that stuff um, because uh, the, I'm just, I'm telling you, just like Winda. Uh, um, that thing is a problem. That statue is a problem. Like, if you can't special summon, you're screwed. So, um, I cannot stress this enough. Main deck the Jizakiru. You're playing Cyber Dragons. Why Why wouldn't you main deck Jizakiru? It's even a light for Galaxy Soldier and crap. You could search it. You know what I mean? Being able to swap out for uh, Ghidorlas to get rid of the Wind statue um, and having the uh, main deck uh, Jizakirus to be able to get rid of Winda, um, it's ideal. Um, I, I highly recommend um, Kaijus and Cyber Dragons. I think that I've sided or mained Kaijus and Cyber Dragons since the Kaijus have come out, you know, in Clash of Rebellions. Um, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber doesn't always go in with the Kaijus, um, but it is good. Um, you can... Uh, you know, it is a, a dark hole, and um, you, it is a really good uh, going second card. So it does come in when I when I go second, but it doesn't come in um, all that much. I, I will say that I put it in against a Mystic Mind, though. <laughs> like it, it screws up, it messes with the uh, monster count and stuff, and it's cute, and you get damage in against them. It, it just screws with them. And I also play, you know, Spell Trap Destruction against them. And it, it's actually really easy to beat mine with this deck. But uh, moving on. Um, Artifact Lancia protects against evenly matched, uh, you know, get, it counters any deck that banishes a lot. Just, yeah, Artifact Lancia. Plus, um, I play this over something like, I don't know, Dimension Shifter or other cards because it's a light. Um, light for Galaxy Soldier, very advantageous. Not to mention, um, more synergy because it's a level 5 light. So, uh, level 5 light, um, full synergy in the deck as far as, uh, you know, side decking, um, siding goes. It's, it's very good. Um, three, Heavy Storm Duster because uh, Mystic Mine, uh, I don't know, Paleo, whatever back row decks, Counter Fairy, I don't know what people are playing. Whatever back row decks you run into, people playing uh, too many traps, just freaking uh, Heavy Storm Duster, I don't care. Um, I side uh, the Overflow because uh, this, is, this isn't a consistency card. It's a very powerful card. I love this card. This card's broken, but um, it's it doesn't really get you there. Like when you, when, let's just say you're going first, right? I made Cyber Dragons be able to go first, you know, with this deck. Um, this doesn't really help you go first. Like, yeah, it's an extra card to have set to be able to blow out your opponent um, if you, you know, got the Cyber Dragon names. But um, it's not a consistency card. It goes in the side deck. I put it in against, you know, crap like Mystic Mind, like like I was just saying, Storm, Storm Dusters against Mystic Mind as well, as well as um, Harpy Feather Duster because. I mean, just uh, these are the best uh, destruction cards, the spell, best uh, spell trap destruction cards I could play in this deck, honestly. Um, I mean, you can play Lightning Storm, but uh, Lightning Storm uh, gives you a choice between one or the other, and you have to have a clear board. Um, this is like always live, um, you know, except, you know, turn set, obviously, because it's a trap. Uh, Feather Duster works just as well. Just drop it, get rid of, you know, spells and traps. And uh, that left me with, uh, you know, one card. Um, 
one card slot in the side deck, and of course that's just uh, Mega Fleet because why wouldn't I play Mega Fleet? It's a Cyber Dragon card, it's a Chimera Tech card. And like I was saying earlier, um, if there if there were more decks that actually ended with um, a monster, a link monster in the extra monster zone, um, you know, uh, Mega Fleet would go back in the extra deck. But since uh, there's a lot of decks running around that just a lot of fusion decks and stuff, they just don't care about the extra monster zone. Um, yeah, you can just uh, side this this thing because uh, it's not as good as it used to be. And uh, once again, since uh, you know, we're mating uh, three ages of Kiru. Um, the uh, Fortress Dragon is uh, way better in the side deck, I mean the extra deck, because of that. So yeah, uh, that's 15 in the extra, 15 in the side, 40 in the main. Perfect. Perfect balance. <laughs> I put a lot of thought into the card choices of this deck, you know, uh, trying to make it, um, you know, synergize as much as possible. I love the challenge of uh, deck building in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's so fun. It's the whole reason why I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck building is so fun. Uh, finding uh, which, uh, you know, uh, swap out cards in the most optimal and, uh, and all that. Um, that's It's just satisfying, you know? It's uh, part of the fun of the game. Time for the combos now, though. The other fun of the game... Oh yes, oh yes. Before we shuffle up and stuff, let me just show off the uh, two card combo in the deck. So once again, um, you need any combination of these cards and all these cards are at three, right? So your chances of getting them are very high. I actually usually open up with this in my opening hand. Like I, I want to open up the two card combo, you know, being uh, this or this or this or this or, you know, the, this or this. Uh, you want to open that up in a machine dupe, you know, or just extra cards. Let's just say, uh, you know, a Mandrake or like a light stage and a quick draw sinker. I don't know, I don't know. Just like, you don't really care about the other cards in your hand as much as those two. The other three cards in your hand can be, uh, anything everything uh, uh, the other cards in your hand are just bonus like you want these two cards and then everything else is bonus so any combination of these cards that uh, gives you these two in your hand right that's that's what that's what we're going for here um so i'm going to show you this two card combo it is so sick normal summon cyber dragon core use cyber dragon core's effect and add rev system send core to the graveyard no, no combo time. <laughs> get Al Mirage out. Then activate Rev System. Get Cyber Dragon Core right back out into the field, right? That will trigger Satellite Synchron. Then you use Al Mirage and Satellite Synchron to go into Needle Fiber. Activate Needle Fiber's effect. Summon Deskbot 01 from your deck. Use Core and Deskbot 01. Go into Martial Metal Marcher. Activate Martial Metal Marcher's effect. Get the satellite synchron right back out. Then use Marcher and the uh, needle fiber, and that will make Auroradon. Auroradon will activate, spamming your tokens. Boom, boom, boom. That'll activate Despot 01 in your graveyard. Boom. Then you use your level two tuner, one of your tokens, make Librarian. Then once again, those two cards in your hand. The rest of you, you, so let's just put three random cards in our hand. Let's just say our random cards are, yeah, Monster Reborn one for one and Light Stage. It's busted. Sh no, no, no. <laughs> that's too, that's too busted. And like, let's just say a, a Hertz here. Let's make it make a little more sense, right? Yeah, something like that. Like we we we, we aren't that lucky to have you know all these other one-ups in our hand. Uh, moving on though. You're gonna see why I'm doing this. So other other cards, you know, we it didn't matter. The other cards in our hand don't really matter. Activate this. Some tuner. All right, and I did that because we're gonna need a shuffle now. So you know what I draw is actually random because you know everything was clumped up for the uh, deck profile, of course. So shuffle, 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 cut, draw. Then use these two. Go into this. Activate. Summon. Cut. Draw. So I've drawn two cards so far. Banish, change position, draw. Use these, summon, draw. So, start off with five cards in your hand and like ignoring, you know, every everything else, like you in, you in like this and I haven't activated anything yet. So we could, we could do so much with this. There's Machine Dupe here, there's Monster Reborn here. There's so, so much to, you know, we can do to, with this board still. Uh, quick, quick draw seeker on in hand. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll finish playing this out really quick. Um, so, so since, uh, yeah, we, if we've already normal summoned, gosh dang, this hand's good. Um, we would like, I don't know, yeah, one for one and discard that, I guess. 
yeah, and then that'll add Cyber Dragon and summon out another one of these, and then you machine dupe on the Hertz, and that'll get out two Cyber Dragons, and yeah, I just keep going from there, Cyber Dragon, and friggin', uh, yeah, uh, Cyber Dragon, and just go, you go and 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 you detach and summon that and then you slap the infinity on this Nova then you use that cyber dragon and library to make Durindle and you still have all of this crap left in your hand <laughs> like, yeah. and that's the idea yeah uh, this isn't the you know end all be all you know I go first I win uh, the de you know the deck no it's it's not but, but it does do this combo um, it gets this combo off super consistently and that's the whole goal is like um, I get this combo off so consistently going first or second and I just end with so much resources um, and I usually win that way um, just by being able to uh, drag it out um, you know other decks float like Shadal's or Burning Abyss you know those decks like float to grind you know what I mean this uh, grinds a little differently this uh, you know gets that um, librarian combo off and uh, then you have enough cards for the whole rest of the fucking duel <laughs> so uh yeah let's do let's uh, start doing i guess a uh, random test hands now and uh yeah there's the tokens um now that you've seen the uh, two card combo shuffle shuffle shuffling 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 cut drop draw Ooh, wow that is Probably that if that's not the best possible hand in the deck, it's one of them like shit. That's good That's very good. Yeah, you would um, activate light stage and get mandrake So mandrake then you normal summon this to get rev system and you want to search this stuff first because um, So tuning mills it adds and then it mills so um, and that can be very advantageous because you can build a desk bot 01, you can build you can build a hertz, you can build a core and stuff like that. But we don't uh, want to mill yet because there's a possibility of milling our one of uh, rev system. Um, you also want to um, yeah you, you get it. You want to search your one ofs if you can before uh, um, you know milling and searching off of tuning. Um, so we would activate that as well. Get hertz and then now we would activate tuning get satellite synchron and then shuffle 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 mill and that's cool whatever satellite synchron all right so send for al mirage this hand's nuts guys wow that's like that's exactly how you want to draw with this deck like dang oh rev system core same old song and dance so um once again um, right, right here is exactly the situation where if they stop your next play being needle fiber, if they stop this and you can't summon Despot 01 from your deck, then your next move is machine duplication. Exactly what I was talking about earlier. Exactly what I was talking about earlier. But uh, let's just move on like they uh, didn't stop needle fiber. Activate. Summon. Use these two. Summon. Bam, bam, bam. Triggers Despot 01. Use these two. Librarian. Be like right in the middle. Use the rest of those. Summon Buri. Um, activate Buri as chain link two. Librarian chain link one. Summon. And then you shuffle up. And then right here, uh, you want to not draw the other Karakiri tuner. That's like the only trick with this deck, I'd say, besides uh, what I showed off a second ago, like, you know, getting your searches before you get your search off of tuning. The other trick with this deck is like right here, do not draw the tuner. Okay, cool. <laughs> because, uh, you know, you would want to summon it off of that. You want to like go into uh, Burrito. Where's it at? Did I pass it? You want to go into Burrito and summon the tuner out of your deck and then draw off a librarian. So now, now it doesn't matter what you draw. Like now, yeah, draw anything. Just freaking now, like now the trick with this deck is like, I guess not drawing all your cyber dragons because you, you'd have a, you know, machine dupe in your hand. Uh, I guess that'd be the other trick. Banish, turn it, draw. Speak of the devil. <laughs> draw. Okay, good, because that's exactly what we needed. We needed that or a quick draw or another tuning or we were going to be screwed. 
All right, so activate Galaxy Soldier. Pitch. I don't think we've used that yet. No, we haven't used it yet. And I will get the core out of Graveyard. And then search Galaxy Soldier. Galaxy Soldier, Pitch, Cyber Dragon. Use those two. And then right here, so of course I detached, but right here, um, you can uh, summon out a little guy for machine dupe, or you can go ahead and save the machine dupe and get out Cyber Dragon and then use, it doesn't really matter. It just depends on how you know big you want your board to be when you end. But you, yeah, you didn't like this, just with the uh, normal Infinity, Dorindle, and um, Baribu, and uh, that's it. That's that's the that's the whole board. Uh, you would end with one extra monster once again, though, if you would have summoned uh, Hertz, um, and then uh, use Machine Dupes. Shuffle, 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 split, drop, draw. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, okay, okay. So uh, with this, we didn't get the uh, satellite synchron. So here's what we do: um, you, uh, you go uh, normal summon, and then um, yeah, you get. Uh, I guess we would get with this since we already have the galaxy soldier. Since we already have just Kiru, we'd get emergency leaving uh, a repair plant in the deck, and then we would emergency for Hertz. Yeah, that's exactly what you do. You an emergency for Hertz so that you have, um, yeah, tuner, uh, something to pitch off of uh, Quick Draw Synchron, get Cyber Dragon, then use these two, get Needle Fiber once again. Now, uh, so this is an interesting uh, uh, situation right here. So let's just say they stop Needle Fiber with, with this kind of hand, uh, which you, your next play would be this. I mean, as rough as it is, your next play is this, as rough as that is. For demonstration purposes, uh, let's just say that they didn't stop the fiber, they didn't have ash. Get desk bot. Roar it on. Desk bot. And so you do, uh, you do the combo. Just, you don't draw 100 cards. <laughs> That's what sucks. You don't draw as many cards. So you get the Kirikiri tuner. And then uh, honestly just immediately sync it off. Go into Burido. Shuffle, shuffle. And you will draw here. Um, so to deck thin? Oh yeah, I just realized to deck thin though, yes, go ahead and pitch. Cyber Dragon off of uh, Galaxy Soldier. Yeah, I would. I would. Just to deck thin and get the other Galaxy Soldier. Yeah, I would. I would do that. And then shuffle. Then banish this. Switching this position. Giving you the draw. So, let's see what we get. Draw. Not bad. Uh, so you will have like this extra uh, token over here because uh, this w this is the token that you would uh, normally use for a librarian, but we didn't get that far, so this is just a chum blocker for us. Um, and then from here, um, you, you've, uh, we've already activated Galaxy Soldier's effects, so it would be, really be your preference. And you would end with a negate, a bounce, and a uh, banish. So um, it's not the best, you know, when you uh, draw hands like that, but uh, they are still playable. They are still very playable. And uh, once again, if, they, if, they, if, if you get stopped once, there's some hands, guys, you, you can only deal with one stop. I'm going to be blunt. There's some hands you can only deal with one stop. There's some hands you can deal with two stops, no problem. Um, and those are the ones with uh, machine dupe and stuff. Like you can deal with two stops and still end with at least an infinity or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can play through stops with this deck. I'm especially going second because you know you have Jizikiru and stuff like that. Um, you can just uh, whatever the biggest problem is, uh, jizz it off the board. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, just uh, yeah, power jizz that bitch off the board. Like power wash it off the board. I'm making such bad jokes right now. But yeah, just uh, get it off the board and uh, you know do your cyber dragon thing and. Uh, that's the whole uh, point of playing uh, the kaijus in it and um, part of the point of playing uh, cyber dragons though is, is you know being able to go uh, second um, so easily but um, you know I made this obviously be able to go first so right here um, this would be uh, good going first or second um, it would be, be better if going second if had Jizukiru I just did that I just did that. <laughs> Jesus powers. Anyways, um, <laughs> it's like seriously, I just do that crap all the time. Um, yeah, I would activate this. 
um, and then mill, like try to mill like a Hertz or a core or something. Anyways, <laughs> Jesus powers, Jesus powers, and then activate, uh, yeah, and then maybe, maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm probably pushing my luck now, I'm probably really pushing my luck now, I don't think I'm gonna be uh, getting uh, that lucky with the mills again, let's find out, no, no, it hurts for free. No, no, it hurts for free. Why not? No, 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 it hurts for free. Will it do it? No, it didn't. He got what it's what searches hurts, but like, yeah, I wasn't gonna get that lucky again. There was no way. Unless, uh, no, I jinxed myself. Maybe if I didn't say anything, I would have got that lucky again. Uh, so uh, the other the the other way, I'm glad I I am actually uh, glad I drew this way because um, you can do the two card combo with three cards. And it just needs to be like these three um, in any in any uh, combination, you know, like the, these could be tunings, for example, like they just were. Um, but you uh, special summon quick draw synchron by uh, discarding Mandrake. That special summons and then that triggers a satellite synchron from your hand because you just special summon from the graveyard. Then you use um, the two turners, two tuners to go in the needle fiber. Yeah, if this gets stopped, you just fucking boned. Like, yeah, no, you can't play through any stops with this hand. Like, if you have, if you're stuck doing the three card combo, usually you can't, you can't play through like any stops. You just gotta go. Oh, uh, just wait it out. It, it just sucks. Um, it happens though. Um, which is why this deck is still better going second. Um, Cyber Dragons are always, uh, you know, inherently better going second. This deck is no different. I just did make it able to go first. Like you can go first and like blind going first with, with this deck and um, resource drown your opponent. Uh, that is a win con of this deck. Same combo though, like I was saying, just do it with three cards instead of uh, two. So it's not as good. But you do draw a million cards um, nonetheless. So let's do it again. Oops. Chenic two, Chenic one. Summon, then draw, then use these two. Summon, so chain link two, chain link one on the hyper librarian. Always summon first, deck then first before drawing. Draw. Then, uh, yeah, swap that. Draw. Um, before we did that, actually, before we do that, we would do this. Since we, since I just noticed that we drew repair plants, we would uh, search for Galaxy Soldier first, and then have we used Hertz's effect? We haven't. So right here, you would uh, deck thin and get the other Galaxy Soldier out, um, or you would, uh, you know, deck the yeah, like or try to, or you would do what I'm doing right now and hope to draw Hertz. Or that, that works too. <laughs> activate light stage, get Mandrake. Oh, but we already activated Mandrake's effect, effect this turn, but that's fine. Just get the other one. Um, Galaxy Soldier, pitch Cyber Dragon. Galaxy Soldier, search for another copy of Galaxy Soldier. Um, and like, well actually with this hand, since we haven't uh, used Rev System and we uh, drew Rev System, we could do this. Yeah, let's go Rev System for the uh, core that we milled out earlier. Yeah, we didn't get Hurts, but man, we milled that core earlier off of, uh, yeah, so that actually really did come in handy. That's crazy. Um, I would use these two to go ahead and make Durandal, because, you know, uh, light stage. Then uh, go ahead and Machine Dupe. If you could Link Summon again, you could totally make Genius, though, and, like, Link Summon under Genius and get a search, but, yeah, use these two. Well, bam. Well, bam, and that's it. Yeah, like then, uh, yeah, you're, you're just freaking set. Look at that, look at that board, and you still have three cards in hand. Yeah, this is about like, yeah, that's, this is pretty much how you want the board to end. Um, the, you, you get it, like you end with these same monster, these same three monsters, same four monsters every single time, typically. Like usually you end with these four monsters. The way you get there will vary slightly. Um, the most optimal way to get there, you know, like I keep talking about is the two card combo. Um, but you can get there with three cards like I just did. Um, you know, the board ends the same. It's just not as good. All right, so I either want to, I want to draw a really good hand and show you how to play uh, past um, a negate or two, or I want to draw a really bad hand and figure out some creative way to build to a decent board. I don't, I don't want any in between. I want something really good or really bad. Let's see what we got. That is very bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted. Asking you shall receive. Um, this is 
playable? Is this, is this playable? I think this is playable. Uh, is it playable though? Hold on, hold on. Oh, this is really bad. This is very bad. Dang, I asked for a bad one and I, oh boy, I got it. Okay. I, I think it'd be that. One for one discard. For that. And then send. Yeah, then it would be send this for Mirage, I think. What's the move? What's the play, boys? What is it? What is it? That's what it is. That's the, that's the, that's the strat. That's the strat. And then Galaxy Soldier. That's the strat, boys. That's the strat. Absolutely freaking terrible hand, but it was able to figure something out with it. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Uh, Nova. P Boom. And then you would, uh... Yeah. Woo! Went Wayne Egg, but... And burned our Jizakirus. Two of the Jizakirus, but yeah, totally... Yeah, made, made, I mean, made it playable. Uh, definitely couldn't deal with any stops, I don't think, with that one. But, <laughs> all right. The combos with the stack start to get pretty linear pretty fast, um, except for the odd hands, which is why I wanted to play some odd hands. And, you know, because there's there's always a way to get the combo or get to the combo or usually a way to get to the combo uh but um you just gotta see it you just gotta get it get there uh get to it a different way um yeah repair plant and yeah just freaking go dude just search cyber dragon and then you just repair plant get galaxy soldier and then you, you go like yeah did, uh, it's the, the the combos get linear. They get really linear. It's the same stuff every single time. But that is exactly why I play this deck, and that's exactly why I built it this way. Is because it does the same crap every single time, unless you unless you draw really 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 bad. Unless you draw, like I was saying earlier, like you draw your cyber dragons and your machine dupes, right? You draw a freaking triple cyber dragon, double machine dupe, or whatever. But yeah, if you draw like this, you're, you're screwed, this, you know what I mean? Especially if you're going first, you're just done. And that is a problem with this deck, is that if you do try to blind go first and you draw two Cyber Dragons, especially without you know, the other cards being part of the two card combo, you're pretty much screwed. If you draw a Cyber Dragon, you wanna go second. Like, you, you know I mean? You could draw one Cyber Dragon, that's fine. You could draw two, that's fine, if you have the two card combo. You could draw, like, if you draw all three, that's fine, if you have the two card combo. If you do you know what I mean but then you, like what I'm getting at is if you're getting to like you want the two card combo and you want other cards in your hand to be extenders or you want them to be oh like I keep saying you want it to be machine duplication and uh, since you want one of those other cards to be machine duplication to be able to further your play if they do have stops um, then uh, you you can't have those other cards in your hand be, being Cyber Dragon. You cannot. You cannot. So it's like a love-hate relationship with this deck because when you go first, you don't want to draw any of these Cyber Dragons. You go second, you, you don't mind drawing them. You, you don't mind drawing two of them. It's fine. You know what I mean? Spec, and then you have another one still for Galaxy Soldier or whatever. You know what I mean? Maybe you, know, you, you get it. So I guess what I'm getting at is as long as you drew, draw the two-card combo, everything's okay, but there are certain hands where you can't draw the two-card combo because you draw like all three of these. Let's just say you draw like you draw like this and this is you draw the two card combo but the other cards in your hand are part of the combo like you know the, the, they're the cards you want to summon from deck you're screwed the reason why you're screwed um, is because a needle fiber might get from hand or deck and it does but um, the Karakuris do not these are from deck they summon from deck. They do not summon from hand. So um, you do not want to draw both of these. If you draw both of these, you're screwed. Like if you draw both of these, you bricked. It's the it's the equivalent of drawing Brilliant Fusion and Garnet. It, it really is. If you draw both of these, it's the equivalent of drawing Brilliant and Garnet. So don't draw both of these, <laughs> and especially don't draw both of these and that with machine dupes just don't do that as long as you have decent enough luck this deck will be good to you all right as long as you have decent enough luck remember to pile shuffle this deck will be really good to you and uh, the and the two card combo i know everything's about one card combos you know it has been you know um the best combos in, in Yu-Gi-Oh are one card combos one card combo it's common sense one card combos are way better because the other cards in your hand are freed up to be you know extenders or you know anything else just in anything else um you know extenders counter cards whatever um, but this deck has so many ways to get this 
it's so consistent at getting its two card combo that it kind of makes up for not having a one card combo you know what i mean and it makes it be able to keep up and there's the there's the two card combo again plus you know uh, i actually got the two card and the three card in one hand right here i can do i can do the combo with these three cards or i can do the combo with just these two um making the you know these these extra cards very valuable because they you know what i mean like that's what i'm saying like if they stop you know your two card combo you have these extra cards in your hand to be able to, to you know try to build to a board still and like i keep saying uh you know one of those cards ideally you want to be machine duplication oh i wasn't able to do it that time a couple of times uh now i've been able to like just call the card on the top of my deck be like uh, optim optimally going second you would want just a kiru you know i've done that a couple of times this video just like with the next card i didn't get that lucky this time <laughs> Uh, but yeah, guys, um, uh, it's common sense that, you know, like I was beginning to explain, I, I guess that's how I'm going to end this video, is, uh, you know, one card combos are better, um, you know, uh, one card combo decks are going to be the best, but um, I'm really proud of this deck, I'm proud of the things I've been able to make it do, um, I'm proud that this deck is pretty much budget <laughs> like i'm not playing like any new cards in this like at all like all these cards are freaking old you know i think needle fiber and marcher might be the newest card in this deck <laughs> you know what i mean and that's that's another uh, uh cool thing about it is uh you know uh being able to innovate and make these old cards good and being and just finding new ways to um, make cyber dragons competitive um it's the whole it's that's what keeps me in Yu-Gi-Oh! is like is finding new ways to make cyber dragons competitive finding new ways of making um old decks competitive and uh deck building i really like deck building um i like uh finding the most optimal ways to build old decks or any deck you know for that matter so um two card combo karakiri Synchro, Synchron, Hyper Librarian, Turbo, Cyber Dragon, just, it's, it's Cyber Synchro. I call it Cyber Synchro, Cyber Dragon Synchro, Psychro, it's Psychro, it's Psychro. <laughs> call it whatever you want. Uh, this is my uh, Mad Science creation. This is the deck I'm going to be playing uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, this deck has been very, very good to me. Um, I have very good luck with this deck, unless uh, I randomly don't. Like, sometimes it's like, I, I have really, really good luck with this deck, and then all of, a, all of a sudden I'll draw, like, three Cyber Dragons, a Machine Dupe, and a mandrake or whatever and i'm like like what <laughs> like what but as long as you don't have that bad luck guys this deck this deck will treat you well uh yeah that's that's all i really have to say about it it's my favorite deck and uh i hope you enjoyed it dick slap that like button and subscribe mm. <laughs> <laughs>